Hello. In this session, I am going to discuss about Booth's algorithm for signed multiplication. In this, I am considering uh, for multiplication of positive and negative case. Let us see the learning outcome. At the end of this session, the students will be able to apply Booth's algorithm to solve signed multiplication problems. So let us see the Booth's algorithm flowchart for signed multiplication. So start with the initialization. Initialize the A, Q minus 1, B and Q registers. Then compare the Q0 and Q minus 1 bits. If both are same, 1, 1 and 0, 0. So only perform arithmetic shift write of A, Q and Q minus 1 content of the registers. If Q0 and Q minus 1 register is 0, 1. So perform A plus B and arithmetic shift write of A, Q, Q minus 1 register. If Q0 and Q minus 1 is A minus, if it is 1, 0, then perform A minus B operation, then write shift of A, Q and Q minus 1. And the count values depend upon the size of multiplier. So if the size of multiplier is 5 bits, so the count value is 5. So this is the flowchart for signed multiplication. Let us see the two's complement representation. Let's consider B as minus 19. So minus 19, the binary value is 1, 0, double 1, 0, 1. So we need to represent this in two's complement representation. So two's complement is a negative means if B is minus 19, so it's two's complement, obviously it's a positive, B equal to plus 19 but we, have to, we need to represent in binary form. So we need to uh, first calculate the ones complement of a B. It's 0, 1, double 0, 1, 0. Add 1. Then perform the addition from right side. 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So it's a two's complement of B. That is 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So it's plus 19. Now let's pause the video for a while and perform this represent the value plus 22 in two's complement representation. The answer is, so plus 22 we need to represent in the two's complement. So first find out the value of plus b that is uh, plus 22 is a 0, 1, 0, double 1, 0. So we need to calculate once complement of the B is 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Add 1. So perform the addition. It's a 0, 1, then 0, 1, 0, 1. So two's complement of B is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So that is minus 22 value. So the answer is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. That is minus 22. That is the two's complement of the plus 22. Now let us see the uh, how to calculate the signed multiplication. So here is the case of positive and negative number. So in the previous video, we discussed for the both the number positive case. So in this, the multiplicand is positive plus 22, multiplier is minus 19. The Q size is 6 bit. So 6 steps are required for the Booth's multiplication. The 2's complement of B is minus B, that is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And represent, that is initialize A with 6 zeros. If B size is 6 bit, so A should be 6. And initialize Q, Q minus 1 bit with zeros. Compare Q0 and Q-1 bits, so that is 1, 0. So as per the Booth's algorithm, the operation is A minus B and right shift content of A, Q and Q-1 bit to 1 bit position at the right side. This is the signed multiplication using Booth's algorithm for plus 22 minus 19. In Booth's algorithm, we need to represent it in table form. The steps represent the first column, second A register, third column Q register, fourth column Q minus 1, and the last column is operation. 
so first initialize the a q and q minus 1 a is 6 times 0 q is 1 0 double 1 0 1 q minus 1 is 0 next in the step 1 the operation is depend upon the value of q naught and q minus 1 it is 1 0 so operation is a minus b and right shift so a value is there b minus b value that is 1 0 1 0 1 0 perform a minus b perform that is addition and keep the value of q and q minus 1 as it is then perform the right shift of content of a to the one bit position at the right side and the leftmost bit is 1 so that 1 indicates it's a sign of the number to maintain the sign we have to keep as it is the leftmost bit then shift 1 bit to the right side that is q register become 0 1 0 1 1 0 then q minus 1 is 1 now the second step is uh, depend upon the value of q naught and q minus 1 of previous operation in this case it is 0 1 so operation is a plus b and right shift operation so a already it is there b value is 0 1 0 1 1 0 perform a plus b so this is the result a plus b 0 0 1 0 1 1 keep the value of q q minus 1 as it is next perform the right shift of content of a content of q and content of q minus 1 to 1 bit position to the right side so this is the result or at the end of second step now the third step the is operation is depend upon the q naught and q minus 1 value now it is 1 0 so the operation is a minus b and right shift a value as it is so minus b value 1 0 1 0 1 0 so perform a minus b so this is the result 1 0 double 1 double 1 now keep the value of q and q minus 1 as it is so here now do the right shift right shift of content of a to the one bit position at the right side then multiplier then q minus one to one bit position to the right side so at the end of step three the value of a q q minus one is next the step four operation it is depend upon the q naught and q minus one value and it's a one one so here we need to perform only the right shift no need to perform the a plus b or a minus b so here uh, leftmost bit keep as it is to maintain the sign of a number and right shift to the one bit position so at the end of step 4 the value of a q and q minus 1 now the step 5 it is depend upon the the value of q naught and q minus 1 of step 4 so here it is 0 1 so the addition operation a plus b and right shift so a so now b b value perform a plus b so the result is 0 1 double 0 0 1 keep the value of q as it is q minus 1 as it is now it's a uh, right shift the content of a q and q minus 1 to a 1 bit position so at the end of step 5 the value of a q q minus 1 as in the table now the st last step that is step 6 is depend upon the value of q naught and q minus 1 it is 1 0 so operation is a minus b and right shift so a value order it is there minus b so a minus b operation that is performing the addition so 1 1 0 0 1 0 keep the value of q as it is q minus 1 as it is now do the right shift of content of a to the one bit position at the right side the content of q one bit position at the right side so q minus 1 becomes 1 so the result will be the in the two's complement form and we will get the result from content of accumulator and content of q so to confirm the whether the result is correct or not so we need to take the two's complement of the content of a and content of q so the two's complement is triple zero one one zero one triple zero one zero and it's a decimal value is 418 and you can calculate decimals uh, 22 into 19 it's a 418 and the our result in the, is in the two's complement form 
so sign is negative the leftmost bit is 1 so it is a negative so our result is correct so these are the references i refer thank you